Hello and welcome. My name is Mandy Van Havermitt. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! from Great Eagle, Minnesota. And I am going to show you today how to make a uh, tower fold card using the paper pumpkin kit uh, called Sweet Sunflowers. It's the August 2022 um, paper pumpkin. This was a fantastic kit. Um, I will tell you, I'm going to cut all those card bases apart and you know that I'm going to cut every one of those envelopes to make designer series paper with them because they are, it's just a stunning kit. Um, they stampin' up really hit it out of the ballpark with this one. Uh, but before I cut all of those card bases up, I am going to create one card that is called a tower fold card. And so <clears throat> what you're going to need is Let's see here. Sorry, I've started, I prepped it up a little bit. I'm not going to cut up this card base. I am going to leave this card base whole, but I am going to score it a few more, two more times um, to make what's called a tower fold card. So I'm going to need that card base. I'm also going to use one of the um, sunflower flowers. Um, and then I've used the piece, the card base that was like this. I cut it in half just because it's easier for me to run through my Big Shot or my stamp cut and emboss machine. And I've used the deckled rectangles and I've cut out two of them. This one I'm going to use like this. This one I'm going to flip over and use the back side. Okay? And so then I'm going to use this some other time for some other project. The only other piece of paper that I'm going to need is a piece of any color cardstock. I prefer white mostly because it kind of camouflages and it blends in, um, but you could really use any other one if you'd like. So let's get stamping. And of course, we're going to need our stamp and pierce mat, and I'm going to use a piece of uh, scratch paper just to protect my stamp and pierce mat when I start stamping. But let's do some scoring first. I'm going to bring out my scoring tool. Um, and there we go. Hopefully you can see it. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is, so there's a score obviously in the center of the card, right? That leaves a four and a quarter by, and a four and a quarter edge. So I'm going to score at two and an eighth on each panel. Don't cut it. Ask me how I know, right? We've all done that. So I'm going to flip it over and score again at two and an eighth. That's our magic numbers um, because it makes it equal, right? So you're going to fold it, fold it, fold it, and that's going to make our tower, okay? So the reason that we have a one inch piece of, of one by five and a half, I should say, piece of paper is because we're going to score that right up the middle at a half inch. That's gonna hold it together. I am going to need two more pieces here. Let's take this. Um, let's see, I'm going to make them I'm going to make them three quarter inch. Three quarter inch strips, and you just need, this is just a scrap of paper. I'm just, and let's see. Let's do one and a half. I should have thought of that before I started my video, huh? So I need just two pieces. One and a half by three quarters, two of them. Just like that. And I'm going to score those at three quarters of an inch each to make just little flappers like that, okay? If you don't have our cut and score tool, this is for real the coolest scorer I've ever used. I love it. Score everything. It's just awesome. Okay, so Here is what we're going to do. We're going to fold our piece in half like that. And I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm going to be liberal with my adhesive. Um, I don't want this coming apart, okay? So I'm going to adhere that on the edge of my card. just like that, and then I'm going to fold it shut and be liberal with my adhesive again. <clears throat> just like that, and I've got a little bit of overhang up on top. 
I'm fussy. I don't even know if you can see that, but I'm fussy and I'm going to cut that out of there because I don't like it. Okay. So that's going to make our card. So when we mail our card, when we send it, it's going to look like this, right? I'm going to put my decoration in the front. If you want to, you can most certainly um, cut a panel. So let's use this piece here, this scrap that I have. Um, so this is from the score line to the edge is two and an eighth. So I'm going to cut it at one and seven eighths. Whoa, take down my whole desk with me. One and seven eighths, that gives me a quarter inch. That's a quarter inch less, right? Um, and so then five and a half, so five and a quarter. Okay, so now I've got a place that I can write a little note or something like that. I can adhere that right on the back. Just like that. Right? So let's do that. And this is why I'm showing you only one side, because I was testing out my stamps on the other side. Alexa just binged at me. Okay, so there's our little spot that we can leave a note. Um, and this is the front of the card. So let's do some stamping. I've got my pieces here. And I've got this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my piece of my flower. And I'm going to bring in... I like to use my full-size stamp pad. So I've got Crushed Curry and Soft Suede. Those are the two colors that came along with the kit, and I'm just going to stick with them because I think they're beautiful, and I like them. So I'm going to bring open them both up here. Let's just get that out of the way, right? So I'm going to bring in my sunflower. Isn't this the most gorgeous sunflower? I love it. I love sunflowers. And I don't know that there's a right way or a wrong way on this little flower background that we've got. But it sure does make it pretty, doesn't it? I'm going to take my center and I'm just going to eyeball it. I love photopolymer. It looks like we've really worked hard on that. Okay, so while I've got this out, um to stamp it like that. You know what? Where's my stamp set? I've got leaves here. Let's take this leaf. And we're going to stamp some green. And I think it's mossy meadow. That's the color that goes with this, right? It is. Let's bring out our mossy meadow. Pardon my reach. We're just going to stamp a couple of leaves. Somewhere I've got a block. There we go. And I'm going to test my stamp out first because sometimes if, if you notice that when you use your photopolymer stamp the first time that you're not getting a nice crisp image, do this. Twist it a few times. Get the, there. Sometimes there's a like a film buildup and then go ahead and wash it on your mat and that will um, make it so you've got a nicer image, right? So I'm just going to... And my sunflower is going to cover most of this, but it'll just give it a little, right? It's like that. It's just going to give it a little bit. It looks like there's leaves behind it now. So then I'm going to take my Hello stamp that comes with the stamp set, and I'm just going to right there, down at the bottom of my rectangle, just like that. And then also, while I'm thinking of it, I've got my um, bumblebees that are mounted. Aren't they cute? I love them. I like the bumblebee stamps um, that came with it. The the cutouts that came with, they're, they're cute. They're all right. But I really like the bumblebees that were the stamps. Because you could use those over and over and over again. Do you guys do the same thing where you mount two stamps on the same on the same block, one on each side. Let's see if I cover that up. Mm -hmm. How about like that? Perfect. Oh, uh, one more. I like I like odd. Odd numbers make me happier when it comes to. There, 
I'm better now. Okay, so that is all of our stamping. That's all I'm going to do for stamping. So let's close up our ink pads because you know and I know that I'm going to drop something in these if I don't close them up. If I don't, if I, if I close them up, nothing bad will happen. So let's move that out of the way. I'm going to take my adhesive. I'm going to put that right on there like that. And I think I'm actually going to take some dimensionals. We'll take the dimensionals that came with the kit because um, they're sitting right here. And I'm going to pop this up. And you could absolutely pop the flower up if you wanted to. Um, but sometimes I like to do it this way, just as something different. But because it's a pretty significant piece there, I'm going to use quite a few dimensionals because I don't want it to get saggy. All right, so let's center that right over the top. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to attach this onto here. And you're saying, how are we going to do that? That's where these little tabs come in, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to adhere these tabs right on each side of the score line. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just getting over a cold, so I'm still got a little frog in my throat every once in a while. So I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm going to attach. So the seam side is on the end, like right along the score line. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And this is why I'm using white also, um, because it kind of hides, it kind of camouflages. I just got adhesive on there. Okay, so I'm going to stick the other one, same thing. So it opens up this way, right? Right on the outside, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to put some adhesive on there. And a little bit more right there. I went over. Okay. And now you can set that down exactly where you want it, just like that. So that's it. That's your That's how you create your tower card. So now when you set it up, it's going to stand and it's going to, you can't see it very well from the top, but it's going to be like that. So when you mail it, it will be flat. But when they get it, they can, they'll open it up and it'll be right, it'll be able to sit out kind of like that. So, and that's why I like to have the white on the inside and the white back here. So it kind of hides that a little bit, but isn't, isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. It's so fun. So much fun. So thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Mandy Van Habermit, and I am an independent demonstrator from Stampin' Up! from Gray Eagle, Minnesota. Also, before I forget, this was inside of um, the kits this month, so they've kind of given us a little bit of a sneak preview of October and, um, October and November. Uh, paper pumpkin kits. And if you don't have a subscription, you're not going to want to miss these. Stampin' Up! does so well with our holiday kits. I just absolutely love them. One is going to be cards and one is going to be tags. And that's, I got that information from right there. So it's not a secret. It's right there. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.